If you're dreaming of studying coral reefs, exploring the deep sea, or conserving the ocean, but aren't sure which colleges will help you build a career in this field, then this video is for you. I'm sharing 10 and a half of the best undergraduate schools for marine biology based on what really counts, access to the ocean, hands-on field experience, and opportunities to get involved in research as an undergraduate. Uh, this is the real important stuff, so let's dive right in. Hi everyone, I'm Alexis and I am a marine ecologist finishing my PhD in biological oceanography here in Hawaii. Over the past few years, I spent over a hundred days at sea studying deep sea zooplankton. I've published peer-reviewed research and collaborated with scientists all over the world. But I didn't actually start in a marine biology program. I was studying biology in the middle of the desert at the University of Arizona when I first fell in love with marine science. And this unusual path taught me the importance of choosing an undergraduate school that gives you real world experience, strong field programs, and access to great mentors. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the top 10 and a half marine biology schools for undergrads and what exactly makes them worth your time. These schools made the list because of their reputation for marine science, the courses and degree types that they offer, and most importantly, how easy it is for undergrads to get involved in research. Okay, so number one on the list, unsurprisingly, is University of Hawaii at Manoa. And I chose this school because it is on an island in the middle of the ocean, giving it unique access to deep sea ecosystems, open ocean ecosystems, as well as coral reefs. This school is doing amazing marine science and oceanographic research. Uh, they have research facilities such as HIMB, which is the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology. It's on an island. They have beautiful labs out there. They do great work. And UH also has a lot of international collaborations. So they're really a leader when it comes to marine science, marine biology, and oceanography. Being in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, there is a focus on tropical marine ecosystems. And there's a lot of opportunities to get involved in field work or research labs. It's also important to note that if you're interested in marine biology, UH has a few degree types that you may consider. So there's general biology, there's marine biology, there's global environmental studies, which is kind of like the oceanography undergrad degree. And you also have zoology. So as a bonus, I wanted to mention University of Hawaii at Hilo. So this is another UH campus on Big Island, the island of Hawaii. And I'm mentioning this as like sort of a bonus or honorable mention because they also do a lot of excellent undergraduate research. I know some grad students in our oceanography program that came from UH Hilo, so there's plenty of opportunities to get involved in undergraduate research there. I think it's a great option if you're looking for something in a place that's a bit quieter, still really beautiful, smaller campus, but also offers smaller class sizes and hands-on research opportunities in marine science. Okay, number two on the list, you're probably also not very surprised by this one. This school is really one of the most prestigious oceanographic institutions globally, specifically in the US, but also globally. They're really a leader in the field. And this is UC San Diego, specifically Scripps Institution of Oceanography. So as you would expect, this campus is beautiful. It's in San Diego, so right by the ocean, but Scripps specifically has its facilities right on the beach, 
right on the beach. They have access to their own pier. They have their own research vessel like UH Manoa. Being right by the coast means that students here have access to the intertidal zone, salt marshes, and just get to do cool lab courses or like field courses because it's right in their backyard. This school is a really strong program academically. It has a rigorous curriculum with courses led by excellent faculties, some of the best of the best researchers in this field, and they have very diverse research opportunities, which is very good if you're exploring um, different options in marine science as an undergrad. So they also offer a few different uh, degree types, so you can get a bachelor's in marine biology, ocean and atmospheric sciences, geosciences, and environmental systems, which is more interdisciplinary. Okay, school number three, we're going to the East Coast. In Florida, we have University of Miami. The Marine Institute here is called Rasmus. And University of Miami is also another great school when it comes to marine science. They are leading programs in coral reef ecology, fisheries, marine conservation, and marine organism physiology. It's also right on the coast, so there's access to coral reefs, the Gulf Stream, and they offer many marine internships. They have beautiful facilities here. It's a great campus. Rasmus, I interviewed for grad school. Didn't end up going, obviously, but I visited their Marine Institute over there, which is like separate from Maine University of Miami, but it's right on the beach. It again has its own pier, it has a research vessel, and it's right by the bay. So beautiful view. I think they have like a little bar also right on the beach. But yeah, beautiful views and great if you're looking for tropical research opportunities. They also offer a few degree options. So they have a bachelor's in marine biology and ecology, as well as marine science and oceanography. Okay, moving on to option number four. We have another school on the west coast, a little further up north. We have Oregon State University. And I chose this school because they have opportunities for hands-on research as an undergrad. They offer courses at Hatfield Marine Science Center with like field-based curriculum, so that's a good selling point right there. They're in the Pacific Northwest, so a lot of their work is coastal or around estuaries, but they also do some deep sea work as well. And again, this is another excellent school when it comes to marine science. They have great faculty members, and there's already opportunities to get involved with field work that is kind of embedded into the program. They also offer um, several degree types. So you can get a bachelor's in biology with a marine biology and ecology track. You can also study zoology or even oceanography. And very quickly, if you have no idea what the differences are between marine science, marine ecology, marine biology, marine conservation, and oceanography, then check out this video that I made where I kind of try to like define each of these terms, what research in these areas might look like, and how they are different or overlapping with each other. So check that out if you think that might be helpful in determining exactly which area you're interested in studying and making sure that you're choosing the right degree program. Okay, so school number five, also on the West Coast in California, we have Cal State Monterey Bay, so CSU Monterey Bay. If you're interested in marine biology, you've probably heard of uh, Monterey Bay in terms of its aquarium or MBARI, which is like its research institution. And yeah, they just do amazing work over there. If you haven't been to the aquarium, it's like a must visit if you're interested in marine biology. But yes, this school is right in Monterey Bay, giving it unique access to the aquarium as well as the research institute there. It's world-class, they do 
amazing research, especially when it comes to the deep sea. This is a CSU, so a Cal State University, meaning that it's more affordable than the UCs. It's slightly less competitive to get into compared to the UCs. It is a very solid option and it's a very inclusive school with strong support for underrepresented groups in STEM, uh, first gen students, as well as transfer students from community colleges. It is a smaller school, which is kind of nice because they're smaller size classes and it offers two degree types that you may be interested in the first is marine science so this is more interdisciplinary than marine bio or general biology okay school number six also on the west coast but farther north we have university of washington so uw in seattle area so I really like this school because they have a very strong reputation when it comes to oceanography and marine science. The marine biology major requires students to take an integrative field experience where they spend a minimum of three weeks of immersive field work at the Friday Harbor Labs. Their program has an emphasis on the Pacific Northwest marine ecosystems. There's excellent opportunities to get involved in internships or research, and there's also access to regional and national partners. So this is a solid option because the field work or the hands-on work is embedded in the program. So you're not going to leave this program without getting that hands-on research experience. And there's a lot of opportunities to collaborate with regional and national organizations around this area. There are also multiple related majors. So not just marine biology, there's also aquatic and fishery sciences, oceanography, environmental science, and biology. Okay, next school number seven, another California school. We have University of California, Santa Cruz. So UCSC. This is a UC, meaning it's a little bit more competitive also a little bit more expensive, but it is a very strong program for an undergrad, and they're known for their marine mammal research, kelp forest ecology, and intertidal research. They have a lot of field and lab-based courses for undergrads, which is perfect. You're getting that hands-on experience, and I saw that they even have these international programs, which can be like summers or quarter-long where you go out and do field work or take courses in different countries like Costa Rica and Australia. And I did something similar during my undergrad at University of Arizona. We had a summer program in the Galapagos Islands where we learned about like intertidal ecology as well as just like, I don't know, Darwin and evolutionary biology. Yeah, it was just a really great course. We also got to snorkel a lot of the time. It sounds like they offer programs like that, which can be an incredible experience as an undergrad. You're not only getting international travel, but you're getting that hands-on research, doing different things when it comes to marine biology. And this is really important because it just gives you like a foot in the door and allows you to like do different things, experiment, with different projects and kind of discover or uncover what you're truly interested in doing or studying. There's also access to the Long Marine Lab, which supports student research with diving, boating, and marine mammal facilities. It's also near Monterey Bay, so they have close partnerships with Monterey Bay Aquarium, um, other agencies there and NGOs. And they offer two degree types that you might be interested in. The first, marine biology, and second, ecology and evolutionary biology. That's a little bit more broad and actually exactly what my major was when I was an undergrad. Okay, really quick, if you are getting any value out of this video, please give it a big like. It really helps me grow this channel and helps 
other people find this channel and find this video. And also, please consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Okay, number eight, also another school in California. There's a lot of California schools, which is not too surprising because it's right on the ocean. So most of these schools are on the East Coast or on the West Coast um, because that's where all of the oceanography like action is happening. So next is University of Southern California or USC. You've probably heard of this school before. It's very competitive. It's right in the middle of Los Angeles. And it's a private school, so it's very expensive. But if you believe that you have the qualifications necessary to apply to a school like this, then they have some excellent research opportunities when it comes to marine science. For example, microbial ecology, biogeochemistry, and integrative organismal biology. There are undergrad opportunities at the Wrigley Marine Center on Catalina Island. So this is an island just off of LA. And this also includes summer research opportunities for undergrads called REUs. USC is a very elite school, so strong academics, very strong funding programs, and there is definitely strong support and encouraging undergraduates to get involved in research. There's probably only one degree that you're gonna be interested in here, and it's gonna be the BS in Biological Sciences, and there is a marine track, which means that after completing all of that, you'll be fully capable of succeeding in a different graduate program after that, if you don't stick in marine science. Number nine, a little bit different, going to the East Coast in Florida again, we have Florida International University, or FIU. I believe this university is also in Miami with access to the same bay, and I chose it because it offers an immersive marine science experience for undergrads. I actually found this school on Instagram. It was recommended to me because they have a research page or a marine science research page that someone started, the department, I guess, and they just share like a bunch of pictures of undergrads and grad students doing research together. They're like always on boats or like with animals. So it just looks really cool. And they're doing a really great job of like showcasing the undergraduate research opportunities that they have at this school. I looked and their research is mostly in coral reefs, seagrass, mangroves, acoustics, predator ecology, genomics, and conservation science. So they're an urban campus in Miami, but they have strong ties to the local ecosystems and very diverse marine labs. So it kind of seems like there's something for everyone there. And importantly, they only offer one degree type and this is marine biology. Okay, last, switching it up a bit, we have Duke University in North Carolina. So I chose Duke because of the the Duke Marine Lab that they have that is a separate campus from Maine University, but it's where all of the marine labs are and they provide hands-on field research courses and also study abroad travel courses. So this is a very strong private university option. They have small size classes, very elite training academically, and excellent faculty mentorship. Their research areas from looking online at their different lab groups focuses on coastal and wetland ecology, physical oceanography, marine conservation, microbial ecology, and marine policy. And if you're interested in this school, they offer a bachelor's in biology with different tracks. And the different tracks or concentrations are marine biology, ecology, evolutionary biology, and animal behavior. If you're serious about a career in marine science, then the next video to watch is this one, where I break down the key differences between these different career paths so that you can find the right fit. And if you're just starting out, I've just put together this guide on how to become a marine biologist, what to do in college, and how to set yourself up for a career in this field. You can grab your guide by clicking on the link in the description where you'll also be added to my email list.
Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.